conocimiento en relación a los rituales. Nosotras, este, este espacio está enmarcado dentro de, de estas charlas gratuitas que estamos haciendo durante el confinamiento desde Fila a la Gulla. Yo me presento también, yo soy Sara. Desde Fila a la Gulla, desde que empecé el confinamiento, estuvimos dándole vueltas a cómo poder crear un espacio que fuese... Que, que hiciese sentido para nosotras y para el mundo en este momento tan incierto y, y la verdad es que estos espacios que estamos compartiendo semanalmente para, estamos teniendo unos feedbacks súper gratificantes en relación a la utilidad para muchas personas y a la vez para nosotras también están siendo súper nutritivas. También escuchar a las diferentes compañeras en sus... Pues en sus expertezas, también cómo nos está sirviendo de nutrición a nosotras mismas y otras muchas cosas ¿no? que están pasando a raíz de estas charlas, o sea que gracias por estar aquí. A mí me hace especial ilusión estar en el rol de estar presentando a Nonti. Hoy hacía memoria a Nonti eh, de cuando nos conocimos por primera vez y fue en el marco de un seminario de trabajo de procesos, las dos como alumnas, que yo me había quedado sin pareja. Y tú entraste por la sala en un ejercicio y fue como, ah, lo hacemos juntas y ahí nos empezamos a contar un poco la vida brevemente. Eh, Nanti es facilitadora de grupos, eh, está iniciada en sistemas chamánicos y es una activista, eh, trabaja por el clima, por la justicia social, eh, por la curación y reconciliación norte-sur. Es miembro de los comunes de Europa, es sudafricana y ahora está viviendo en, en Europa. Y la verdad es que personalmente estar cerca de ella me nutre mucho. Creo que por un lado estoy aprendiendo muchas cosas nuevas y, por otro, a, un, y a otro nivel es como que, que, que el, el río que remas es el mío. Así que te paso la palabra y... Pues un placer volverte a escuchar. Perdón, antes de pasarte la palabra sí que quiero recordar que eh, igual que las demás charlas, esta charla es gratuita también, pero sí que eh, voy a poner aquí en el chat la página web de, de la organización de la cual Nonti es, es cofundadora, RISE, eh, y en esta página web podéis encontrar eh, una, la pestaña para poder hacer donaciones eh, desde, desde este proyecto están recogiendo donaciones para poder apoyar a personas que están en situación de alta vulnerabilidad en Sudáfrica. Así que cualquier, pues con estas campañas ya sabemos, ¿no? Como que cualquier donación, por mínima que sea, pues se hacen muchas cosas. Así que os voy a poner aquí en el chat... Eh, la página web, puede ser que después al final de la charla también os podamos compartir la pantalla de la página para que la tengáis fichada y os den más ganas de ir a, a investigar. Ahora sí, Nonti, muchas gracias por estar aquí, por compartirte, por compartir tu conocimiento. Te paso la palabra. Hi. Buenas tardes. <laughs> so... I'm pr I've been practicing a little bit of Spanish. He estado practicando un poco de castellano. Um, yeah, so it's nice to be here again. And thank you for being here. Entonces está bien estar aquí de nuevo y gracias por estar aquí. Um, and I would like to thank Lara for translating. Y me gustaría agradecer a Laura, que soy esta voz que estáis escuchando, que está traduciendo. Y perdona, Laura, que se me ha ido, no te he presentado. Gracias por, por traducir a Nonti, sí. De nada. Y sí, Sara, thank you. Y Vicky y Fila Lagoya por crear este espacio. Y gracias, Sara, Vicky y Fila Lagoya por crear este espacio.
Mm. Yeah, so I think this is a third uh, work, workshop online that we've, I'm doing. Este es el tercer taller online que estoy haciendo. And um, they are all building on each other. Cada taller eh, como que a, se apoya en el otro. And um, those of you who were in the beginning, it was the first one was about community. Entonces el primer taller fue sobre comunidad. And um, the second one was about trauma and grief, right? El segundo fue sobre trauma y duelo. And today we, we're going to talk about connecting with our ancestors. Y hoy hablaremos de conectar con nuestros ancestros. And um, so they are all interconnected in some ways. Entonces todos están interconectados de varias formas. So I might repeat, I might repeat a few things from the last from last week's uh, talk. Y puede ser que repita algunas cosas de las charlas de las pasadas semanas. Mm. So maybe we just start. Um, I'm gonna share a few slides just to get us talking before we go deep into the process. Entonces vamos a empezar. Voy a compartir algunas diapositivas eh, para empezar a hablar sobre el tema antes de que nos de que profundicemos en el proceso. <laughs> so is it working? Yeah. Okay, so I'm always a bit nervous in the beginning of these talks. Siempre estoy un poco nerviosa al principio de estas charlas. And um, specifically today, because for me, the ancestors topic is a very close to my heart topic, very strong. Especialmente hoy, porque el tema de los ancestros es un tema especialmente eh, cercano a mi corazón. So I'm glad we have a small group, you know, because we usually have like a huge amount of people. Entonces estoy contenta de que tengamos un grupo pequeño. Normalmente tenemos un grupo muy grande. Um, so I would just like us to, wherever we are in our homes, to take a moment of just silence. Entonces me gustaría que todas estemos donde estemos en nuestras casas, nos tomemos un momento de silencio. And just um, connect with your space and feel comfortable where you are. Para conectar con, con vuestro espacio y sentiros cómodas en donde estáis. And if you feel comfortable, you can also just close your eyes for a moment just to connect. Ajá. Si, si estáis cómodas y cómodos, podéis cerrar los ojos un momento para conectar. Yeah. And uh, just bring yourself to the tree. Para llevaros a vosotras mismas, mismos, a, al árbol, debajo del árbol. So I'm going to burn a candle because for me the I cannot just talk about ancestors without in a sense feeling that I am calling them into the space. 
Entonces voy a encender una vela porque yo no puedo hablar de los ancestros sin de alguna forma invitarles a estar en este espacio conmigo. Yeah. So, just as a sign of respect. Esta es una señal de respeto. To bring the fire element into the space. Poner el fuego, el elemento del fuego en el espacio es una señal de respeto. So, I'm going to start with just explaining a few terms um, of what ancestors are. Entonces empezaré explicando un poco unos términos sobre qué son los ancestros. And then we can then go deeper into creating a space of um, the connection of what the view of Ubuntu or the African way of connecting with our ancestors. Y después eh, profundizar en la, en la forma del Ubuntu, en la forma africana de conectar con los ancestros. Okay. So, hmm. connecting with our ancestors. Entonces, conectando con nuestros ancestros. I see the lion face that I see in the back. Veis la cara del león. For me, this is the symbol of my way of totem animal of connecting with my ancestors. Para mí este es mi animal totem para conectar con mis ancestros. And uh, this is in many levels. It's, um, it's not only from my family system, but it's also from the shamanic point of view. Y esto no es solo de, de mi sistema familiar, sino también del punto de vista chamánico. So we have a saying that if you are walking the shamanic path, you are being called by the ancestors. Entonces nosotros decimos, hay una, bueno, hay una dicha que dice que si estás caminando el camino del chamanismo es porque tus ancestras te están llamando. Um, so today this is why I put this cloth on my back. Es por eso he puesto este pañuelo en mi pared, detrás de mí. So this is my shamanic, one of my shamanic clothes. Porque es una de mis ropas chamanicas. So I bring my ancestors into the space. Entonces estoy trayendo mis ancestras, ancestros al espacio. And I welcome your ancestors into the space. Y también doy la bienvenida a vuestras ancestras y ancestros al espacio. Um, So I'm going to start like in the Western way, the way of explaining things in Western science is that like, uh, your DNA carries information from your ancestors. Entonces, desde el punto de vista científico occidental, la manera de explicar esto es que tu ADN eh, trae información, contiene información de tus ancestras y ancestros. Um, like we talked last time about trauma is that it can it it can be passed uh, through generations y como hablamos en la anterior charla del trauma el trauma puede ser traspasado de unas generaciones a otras and also the possibility of passing diseases or certain mental illnesses this is through dna y la posibilidad de traspasar enfermedades Enfermedades en general, enfermedades, temas mentales, también se explica como que pasa a través del ADN. And, uh, so in the Ubuntu perspective is that then we take it further um, from the DNA. Entonces desde la perspectiva del Ubuntu eh, lo llevamos más allá del ADN. We take it also into the spiritual space. Y lo llevamos también al espacio espiritual. 
and um, so we don't only say that you have a connection or carry your ancestors through your DNA line. Entonces nosotras decimos que no solamente tenemos una conexión o que acarreas a tus ancestras a través de tu ADN, but it's a sense of also your ancestors are always with you sino que tenemos el sentido de que tus ancestras están siempre contigo. So you carry them with you. Entonces, eh, las acarreas contigo. So when you look yourself in the mirror, entonces cuando te miras al espejo, um, you could say you probably have your grandmother's eyes. Probably, probablemente puedes decir que tienes tu, los ojos de tu abuela. Your grandfather's nose. La nariz de tu abuelo. Your grand grandfather's traumas and thinking patterns. Y tus y los traumas y los patrones de pensamiento de tu tatarabuelo o tatarabuela. But also in the spirit way is they themselves who used to walk this earth they are also still have a connection with you um, pero desde este punto de vista ellos ellas que acostumbraban a pisar esta tierra siguen contigo de alguna forma because um, throughout all indigenous cultures there's this strong belief that um, Our ancestors, when they die, it's not the end. Porque en las culturas indígenas hay este esta creencia muy fuerte de que cuando los ancestros mueren no es el final. So death is not the end. Entonces la muerte no es el final. So your energy has a possibility of living on. Tu energía tiene la posibilidad de seguir viviendo. And um, there's a way of continuing the connection and the communication between the living and those who have passed on. Y, y tiene la posibilidad de, de seguir viviendo esta energía y de, te, y de seguir comunicándose y seguir conectando los que ya han muerto con los que todavía viven. So I'm going to talk about the, um, the negative impact of, I'm just going to talk about that little bit, the negative uh, impact of religion when it came through missionaries to the indigenous world. Entonces voy a hablar un poco del impacto negativo que tuvo la religión cuando los misioneros eh, entraron en los espacios indígenas. So that we can... Just talk about that and move on to good things. <laughs> Así podemos hablar de esto y luego movernos a cosas bonitas, buenas. So when, so you know, when religion came, um, it it also brought in this idea of this connection from rituals and ceremony and beliefs about death and what happens after death. You you said disconnection. Sorry. It, it brought in this uh, disconnection. Okay. Entonces, cuando la religión entró en los espacios indígenas, lo que hizo fue crear una desconexión con los rituales, las ceremonias, eh, los ancestros, mm -hmm. todo esto. And um, through ceremony, it's just one of the ways that one. Um, the indigenous people believed in taking care of those who have passed on. Entonces, a través de las ceremonias es una de las formas en las que los indígenas cuidan a aquellos que ya se han ido. So, unfortunately, um, this has left a negative impact on, on many cultures, uh, indigenous cultures, and it brought in a lot of confusion as well. Entonces, 
esto que, hizo lo, que hicieron los misioneros eh, trajo mucha confusión y mucho impacto negativo en muchas comunidades indígenas, culturas indígenas. Um... So I'll make an example with um, Africa. There's this idea that some people then through, who are very religious, um, tend to say that the worship of the ancestors is almost like worshiping demons, you know? Entonces voy a poner un ejemplo de, de esto en África, y es que se dice, personas muy religiosas dicen que worship, I don't understand. Worship es como when you, if you, it's like the only way you can worship is you need to worship God. So the, what you, the person you pray to or, mm. yeah. Uh, so it's like saying that it was bad to, yeah. to pray to ancestors. I believe to be demons. Entonces las personas eh, muy religiosas decían que Honrar a los ancestros o hacer rituales a los ancestros era como, como hacerlo a los demonios. Um, so this um, has created a lot of conflict in the spiritual level, also in the, in the way of mental and physical way of cultural living within communities. Entonces esto creó eh, mucha confusión y mucho daño en el, en el nivel físico y mental también y en las formas de vivir de las comunidades. But some people have managed to find like a balance between the two worlds, between the two beliefs. Pero algunas personas han encontrado la manera de tener un equilibrio entre las dos creencias. Okay. Two beliefs, you mean only the religious Christian and the indigenous? Yes. Entre, entre encontrar un equilibrio entre la religión cristiana y las creencias o las, no sé, la, la parte ancestral indígena. Yeah, so some people can still be practicing Christians and at the same time still do the rituals and the ceremonies of connecting with their ancestors. Entonces, alguna gente puede eh, hacer los rituales, bueno, la, ser cristiana, digamos, y a la vez seguir haciendo las ceremonias a los ancestros. But then some people have come to the total disconnection of, of and saying this is bad. Y algunas personas, pero algunas personas han, han acabado en la desconexión total y eso es la muerte. So, okay, so we have like different kinds of ancestors. Entonces tenemos diferentes tipos de ancestros. So we have the family line ancestors. Tenemos los ancestros de la línea familiar. These are your Um, grandparents, uh, grand grandparents, um, your aunts, your uncles. So these are the people that come from your family system that have passed on. Entonces, por un lado, ten quienes las personas de tu familia que ya han muerto, eh, los abuelos, los tatarabuelos, la, las tías, los tíos. Um, and this does not have uh, an age factor. Y no tiene un, un factor de, de, de años. Um, it's simply looking at it as if a member of your family has passed on, so they have moved on to be to the world of the ancestors. Entonces es sencillamente que si un miembro de tu familia ha muerto, ha entrado en el mundo de los ancestros. Um, and um, in the Western way of understanding we say you have uh, guardian angels. Entonces, en la forma occidental de entender, de decimos que tenemos unos ángeles guías. And for us, it's these are your ancestors looking after you, who are assigned, certain ancestors are assigned to look after you. Y en nuestra forma de ver, son algunos ancestros que han sido 
asignados se les da la tarea de ser quienes cuidan de, tu, de ti, quienes te guían. Um, also, we have what we call um, adopted ancestors. También tenemos lo que llamamos ancestros adoptados. Um, this happens, of course, when a person has been adopted into a certain family system. Esto pasa también cuando una persona ha sido adoptada dentro de un sistema familiar. But also if somebody had moved, left their country and moved into another family, whether as a worker or as an employee or it doesn't matter what the relation was, but they happened to died, to have died in that, in that, in that land or in that family system. Y también si una persona se ha ido para trabajar o para cual, cualquier tipo de relación, se ha ido a otra, a otra tierra, a otro lugar, y muere en ese lugar, también sería un ejemplo. Yeah. And we also have what we call ancestors of the land. Y también tenemos lo que llamamos ancestros de la tierra. So ancestors of the land is, I think it's self and expert. It's like the ancestors that are the guardians of that specific land. Y estos ancestros son los guardianes de esa, de esa tierra en concreto, ese lugar específico. So for example, I lived in Navarra for some time and when I do ceremony, I would call my ancestors and I will also call the ancestors of the land of Navarra. Entonces, yo viví en Navarra durante un tiempo y cuando hacía ceremonias allí, yo llamaba a mis ancestros y también a los ancestros de Navarra. And so this is a way of showing respect of the land that you are in because you don't belong to that land. Your vibration is not of that land. Y esto es una manera de respetar el lugar en el que estás porque tu vibración no es la de esa tierra. So it's almost like you need to do an introduction of your ancestors to the ancestors of that land. Entonces, ¿cómo tienes que presentar eh, tus ancestros a los ancestros de ese lugar? Um, and even ask for permission to be there. Y también casi pedir permiso para vivir ahí. So you're always living with this awareness that you are a guest. You and your ancestors are guests in this land. Entonces tienes esa conciencia de que tú y tus ancestros sois una invitada a ese lugar, ese espacio. So this might sound like something very small, but for us it's something really important because many factors of how you live on that land and what happens to you on that land depends on whether the ancestors of that land accept you or not. Entonces esto parece algo muy sencillo, pero para nosotros es algo muy importante, porque muchas cosas que te pasan desde nuestro punto de vista tienen que ver con si los ancestros de ese lugar te han aceptado o no. And also when you leave your land, it's you need to ask for permission or notify your, the, the, the ancestors of your land that you are no longer your vibration will no longer be there. Y también cuando te vas, tienes como que notificar a los ancestros, a tus ancestros de ese lugar, de que tu vibración ya no estará ahí, estará en otro lugar. So it's almost asking for permission that your ancestors go with you to where you're going. Entonces es casi como pedir permiso para que tus ancestros vayan contigo a donde tú vas. Yeah. So it's not a shock to your system. Entonces... Hacerlo de esta forma hace que no sea un choque para tu sistema. Ok. So I have a, a writing here which says uh, I stand on the shoulders of a thousand that came before me. Entonces, tengo aquí esta dicha que dice yo me sostengo eh, en las espaldas de miles de miles que han existido antes que yo, que vinieron aquí antes que yo. Yeah. Um, en los hombros. Bueno. Los hombros, yeah. I stand on the shoulders. On the shoulders, sí. Es que he hecho una barrilla entre catalá, quería decir espaldas y he dicho espaldas. Y, sí. uh -huh. 
Yo, yo me sostengo en, las, en los hombros de miles que existieron que vinieron antes que yo. And another saying that comes from Maya Angelou says, I come as one, but I stand as a ten thousand. Y otro dicho que viene de, de, bueno, de, de mi visión, ¿no? Es yo vengo como uno, mm -hmm. pero estoy presente como diez mil. Yeah. So the explanation of this, if wherever you are, uh, you might have the sense of being alone. Or when you go to a place, you have a sense of being alone. Entonces esto significa que estés donde estés, tienes una sensación de estar solo o sola. But you are never alone because you are always carrying this history of 10,000, even more, of those that came before you. Pero nunca estás sola porque tú, tú traes contigo la historia de 10,000 o de muchas más que, que existieron antes que ti. So I found this cute... Uh, Map, family map. Uh, Encontré este mapa familiar. Um, so it's cartoonish, but I just thought that it kind of explains that as one person you are made of so many people that uh, came before you for you to get here. So you're like this dream of so many people that came before you. Entonces, eh, aunque son dibujitos, eh, se ve claro esta idea de que mucha gente eh, estuvo aquí antes que tú. Para que tú estés aquí, ha habido muchas personas antes. Yeah. So, for you to be here, it's such a huge miracle. No matter how, what, what were the circumstances that brought you here. Entonces, el hecho de que tú estés aquí, sin importar las circunstancias exactas que han hecho que existas, es un gran milagro. Because there were people that were alive before you that dreamt of you. You know, they had a dream about you. Porque hubo personas que estaban aquí antes y que tuvieron el sueño de ti, de, sí, que, que te soñaron. Mm. Um, mm -hmm. You okay? Uh, there is a question in the chat, and as we are talking about our ancestors, and I am translating to Spanish instead of into Catalan. Um, mm -hmm. I don't know. Uh, I would like to answer. Okay. What is? I don't. It's asking why it's in Spanish instead of Catalan. Entonces hay una pregunta en el chat de por qué está siendo esto traducido al castellano y no al catalán y me he dado cuenta de que a lo mejor es importante hoy este tema porque estamos hablando ahora de los ancestros. Entonces quiero decir que decidimos hacerlo al castellano porque pensábamos que a lo mejor se conectaban personas al ser online, tiene un abasto mayor y hay gente que se conecta a veces fuera de Cataluña y queríamos que lo pudieran entender. Eh... Y por eso lo hemos decidido. No sé si aquí hay alguien que no entienda el, el catalán. Porque yo, por ejemplo, para mí también estaría bien hacerlo en catalán. Siendo que estamos hablando de los ancestros. No sé si lo hace más sensible. Entonces, eh, sí. Sara, ¿qué piensas? Gracias, Laura, por responder. Sí. Um, sí, creo que sí. Mm. Ya, cómo ser sensible a este tema, ¿no? Sí. 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 ¿Qué piensas, Nanti? Yeah, I want to... First, I would like to say that I'm not... I, I'm not Catalan, so, obviously. Mm -hmm. And I... This is not... It's, I know this is a sensitive issue, especially we're talking about ancestors. So I don't have that... Way. Yo no soy catalana. Eh, sé que esto es un tema especialmente sensible. And I want to say that I honor that we, the person who asked that question, for bringing that in. Um, y quiero decir que honro la persona que, que trajo esta pregunta. So for me, that tells me they've already brought their ancestors into the space and they want to be heard. 
porque es como que esta persona está trayendo sus ancestros a la, al espacio y ellos quieren, ellas quieren ser escuchadas. But also just to have the awareness that we have people that are not from who don't speak Catalan. I think I'm not sure who's online today, but usually there's people who come from different parts of Spain who don't speak Catalan. Sí. Entonces yo no sé quién está hoy online, eh, pero hay personas que se conectan a veces que son de otros lugares del Estado español que no hablan catalán. Mm. And also we have international people, okay, some of my friends who are from other parts of Europe as well. Y también tenemos algunas personas internacionales, algunas de mis amistades que son de distintos lugares de Europa. Yeah. So actually I can see that like Marsha is here and she's from Russia and so she's bringing her ancestors from Russia. También por ejemplo veo que Marsha está aquí y ella trae sus ancestros de Rusia. I bring some from Poland, Italy and Germany. Uh -huh. <laughs> so we have ancestors from everywhere. Ah, también yo traigo ancestros de Polonia, Italia Germany. y Alemania. Wow. So, <laughs> wow. Pues sí, creo que está bien. Croatia. El... Uh -huh. Croatia. There's ancestors from Croatia. Look, there's Susana. De, Cro de Croacia. Um, wow. So, uh, let's honor that. Let's just take a moment to honor that. <laughs> Pues vamos a honrar esto. Tomemos un momento para honrar esto. Yeah. Yeah. It's really beautiful. Thank you for coming. Entonces es muy bonito. Gracias por estar aquí. And, sí. yeah. Y también en el chat uh, una persona está escribiendo uh, desde Italia y también Sudáfrica. Mm. Adoptiva. The Cape Town. Oh, wow. Welcome. Oh, mm. my gosh. Yeah, I'm getting like ah, emotional. Yeah. I am wondering, I don't know if all the international people like, I mean, I, me as translator, that I am aware that also my ancestors are here. To me, it's also weird to be translating into Spanish. Mm. Yo quiero decir que yo como traductora, que mis ancestros también están aquí, para mí también es raro estarlo traduciendo al castellano, teniendo ahora conciencia del tema. So, I don't know if people, uh, I mean, if everybody in the room understand either Catalan or English. I don't know if, if Spanish is needed, really. Mm. Entonces, no sé si, si hay gente, o sea, me gustaría saber también si las personas que estamos aquí si sí, todo el mundo entiende o el catalán o el castellano Ay, o, el cast o el catalán o el inglés porque a lo mejor el castellano no hace falta no sé mm -hmm. yeah. entonces eh, para hacer esto fácil mm -hmm. eh, voy a cambiar al catalán mm -hmm. entendiendo que las personas internacionales entienden el inglés mm -hmm. so, to find a simple a solution for now. Mm -hmm. um, las persona, eh, voy a cambiar al catalán porque entiendo que las personas internacionales ya hablan el inglés y si alguien necesita el castellano me lo puede decir en privado, que a lo mejor es difícil de decirlo en el chat abierto. Sí, yo estoy con comunicación con YouTube, está bien. Hay gente que se preocupa por la gente de YouTube. Estamos todo el mundo como mirando por todo el mundo, ¿no? Sí. Bonito. Entonces, eh, voy a hacer esto, ¿vale? Si alguna de las presentes necesita el castellano y eh, se siente más segura diciéndomelo eh, por privado, pues me lo, me lo dice. Y yo ahora voy a empezar a traducir al catalán. So, if anyone needs Spanish, can tell it to me by in, in private chat, if it's too difficult to say it in the, in the chat to everybody. And I will start to translate into Catalan. Since okay. now. Okay, thank you. <laughs> yeah. Mm. So yeah. I think this this somehow just brought me back to our last week um, topic of trauma and grief. 
Llavors crec que això que acaba de passar em transporta al tema de la setmana passada, de el trauma i el dol. Yeah, because I feel like yeah, there's like this connection as well of when some ancestors have passed on without have been recognized their culture, their language and who they are was not recognized. Therefore, um, a space needs to be held to support them in this. Llavors, eh, quan ha passat que hi ha hagut, i això em connecta amb el tema de la setmana passada del trauma i el dol, perquè quan hi ha hagut ancestres que han mort sense ser reconegut, sense que la seva cultura, la seva llengua fos eh, reconeguda, necessiten, necessiten que hi hagi espais per ells, per elles. Um, yeah, it's like we have a, you know, as I said last time, we have a ceremony for everything. Entonces, ahí con Bach de la semana pasada, nosotras tenim una ceremonia per cada cosa. And, uh, per tot. Yeah, so part of this, um, of understanding and connecting with your ancestors is also finding ways to heal the wounds and the traumas of your ancestors. Llavors, part de connectar i trobar les maneres de connectar amb els teus ancestres és trobar les maneres de, de sanar les seves ferides i els seus traumes. Yeah. Okay, so I'm going to go back to this, then we can go deeper. Mm -hmm. so, so, tornaré a, al tema perquè puguem aprofundir. Mm -hmm. So I have this uh, tree that most of us probably know. So I just want to say on the um, logic side of things, it's always better to, uh, to know your family tree and to know where you come from and who are the members of your family system. Des del punt de vista lògic, pues, segurament totes coneixeu aquesta imatge, no? des del punt de vista lògic uh, és important saber de qui vens, no? de qui descens. Um, knowing um, your family system, knowing your family stories, knowing the traumas, the joys, and the triumphs of your ancestors. And the times? The triumphs. Triumphs are kind like victories of your ancestors, the struggles and the victories of your ancestors. Llavors, està bé conèixer eh, qui són els teus ancestres, quines són les seves històries, quines han sigut les seves celebracions, la seva joia, quines han sigut les seves lluites, les seves ferides, els seus traumes. So, somebody might ask me, how do I connect with my ancestors, you know? Llavors, algú podria preguntar-me, i com connecto jo amb els meus ancestres? And why? Why should I create this connection, this relationship with my ancestors? I per què hauria de jo crear aquesta connexió amb els meus ancestres? Um, one of the reasons for this is that we believe that um, as I said before, the, the idea of death in an indigenous way, it's not the end. I un dels motius és com he dit abans aquesta idea indígena de que la mort no és el final. So the continuous communication with your ancestors is keeping the story of your family system alive. Llavors, seguir eh, connectant amb els teus ancestres és mantenir viva la història de la teva família. But also is, um, is to also support your ancestors 
um, heal from the wounds and the traumas that they were not able to heal when they were still here on earth. I això ajuda els ancestres a sanar els traumes i les ferides que no van poder sanar quan estaven aquí a la Terra. And also is to ask them for support in your own everyday struggles as you are uh, going through your journey on this earth. I també és una manera de demanar-los suport en la teva vida quotidiana i en les teves batalles, no? Quotidiana, no? Quotidianes. Yeah, so it's almost like you continue, you have a continuous dialogue with your ancestors. Llavors és com un, un diàleg que continua, no? Un diàleg continu amb els teus ancestres. So it's a relationship that continues between you and your ancestors. Llavors la relació entre tu i els teus ancestres continua després de la mort. So in a community context, um, you will find like in all, like in India, in China, in Africa, when you go into some villages, you will find there's a specific tree or a place where people of that village gather together to do a ceremony, a collective ceremony for the ancestors of the land and for their own individual ancestors. Llavors abans, quan tu arribaves doncs, a algun lloc a l'Àfrica, la Xina, la Índia, tu trobaves on hi havia com un arbre eh, que era l'espai on el poble, la comunitat es trobava per, per honrar o celebrar els ancestres del lloc i també els ancestres individuals de cadascú, de cada família. And usually the four elements are, are involved. I normalment els quatre elements estan involucrats. And offerings of food and water or alcohol i oferiments de menjar, aigua, alcohol because it is believed that you need to make an offering of what you also eat as you are alive you share this with your ancestors as well. Perquè hi ha aquesta creença de que de que of, de oferir allò que tu estàs menjant també als teus ancestres. So you are asking them for support for whatever issue that is going on within the village system or the community system. Llavors, tu els estàs demanant suport per qualsevol cosa que estigui passant al poble o a la comunitat. Or just to create a space of thanksgiving as well. O només crear un espai d'agraïment. You can thanksgiving for the rain, thanksgiving for the food that is growing from the ground. Pots agrair per la pluja, pots agrair per el menjar que creix en la terra. And also when a child is born, we also have this belief of um, reincarnation and also behavioral patterns that we connect to our ancestors. I també quan neix una criatura hi ha aquesta creença de 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 com la reencarnació o com una continuació d'alguns patrons. Eh, so, you, so you usually hear when a child is born when people come to see the child and they look at the child and they say, "Wow, my god, grandfather Joe is back." You know, for example. Llavors, pot passar que la gent quan va conèixer el nou bebè que ha nascut, digui, "Wow, el lavi John ha tornat." You know, so it's always a reference of we need, we want to look at the child and see which one of our ancestors can we identify in this child. Llavors, nosaltres volem, sempre volem mirar l'infant i notar quin dels, dels nostres ancestres ha tornat. O does, yeah, or does the child have a specific mark on their body that reminds us of somebody that has passed on. O si la criatura té alguna marca en el seu cos que ens recorda algú que ha mort. Or if you behave a certain way, you always, when you grow up, you always hear your grandmother or grandfather say, oh, this child doesn't surprise us because they behave exactly like uncle so-and-so who died a long time ago. O, per exemple, que algú digui, ui, aquesta criatura no ens sorprèn gens perquè està actuant com el tiet no sé què que va morir fa no sé quants anys. So you are always connected to somebody, you have a history. Llavors, tu sempre tens una història, sempre estàs connectada amb algú. So if you see here on the slide, I have pictures from a ceremony called Osun Osogbo Festival. 
Llavors, aquí tinc imatges d'una cerimònia que es diu... Can you say the name again, Nonti? It's Osun. Osun. Osogbo. Osogbo. Festival. Festival. So this festival takes place every August in Nigeria. I aquest festival passa cada agost a Nigeria. And it has become an international sensation. Lots of people come from all different parts of the world. I s'ha convertit en un interès internacional i moltes persones de diferents parts del món hi van. And they go to this river. I van a aquest riu. And to give, to bring all these offerings. All this food you see here and the high priestesses and the high priests, they go there and the people come to ask for blessings and um, to, uh, to uh, strengthen their connections, the ancestors of the land and their own ancestors. Llavors, tot aquest menjar que veieu, totes aquestes sacerdotesses, tot això és que ells ho porten al riu i tothom va allà per demanar, per fer les seves pregàries, per demanar que es facin més fortes. This is like comparable to the day of the death that happens in November in Europe. I això podria ser comparable al Dia de Tots Sants d'aquí d'Europa. Like, I think it's originated from Mexico, for the South. I'm sorry if I'm getting it wrong. I crec que és originari de Mèxic o del Sud. No sé si ho estic dient bé, ho sento, si no. Yeah, so all cultures have this time where you honor those who have passed on. Llavors, totes les cultures tenen aquest moment en el que honres els que ja han mort. And um, I used this picture also last week. This is in Navarra where we did a ceremony also to honor our ancestors by bringing food and making offers, offerings to the river. I això és una cerimònia que jo vaig fer a Navarra per honrar els nostres ancestres i vam portar menjar i, la vam, i el vam oferir al riu. And it's also like offering, making offerings to the ancestors of the, of the river and ancestors of the sea. I també fem ofrenes als ancestres del riu i del mar. So, we can move on to the... How do you create an altar? Llavors, ara ens mourem a com crear un altar. In your own home, a simple altar in your own home. Un altar simple a casa teva. When you're not doing big ceremony. Quan no fas grans cerimònies. So we believe that it's important to... We can create an altar by using pictures of your ancestors. Llavors nosaltres creiem que és important crear un altar amb imatges dels teus ancestres, de les teves ancestres. And it doesn't need to be complex at all. I no cal que sigui complexa. You put pictures of your ancestors, those who passed on, people from your family system. Llavors tu poses fotos de les ancestres que han mort, persones del teu sistema familiar. And you continue, you can burn candles and continue doing prayers in whichever way that feels comfortable for you to keep their memory alive. Llavors hi poses espelmes i i crees les pregàries o allò que et vagi bé a tu per mantenir viva la seva memòria. And also to bring healing for yourself and for them if there were any issues in... issues that were not healed before they passed on. I també per sanar, no? Per sanar tu i per sanar qüestions que elles no van poder de sanar abans de morir i que estan allà. And for special occasions you can put food on the altar as you can see on this picture. I per ocasions especials pots posar menjar en aquest altar. And I also like to put alcohol in my in my shrine and water and I also make tea because my grandmother who just passed on two years ago she loves tea so I put tea for her. Llavors també, jo també m'agrada posar-hi alcohol, aigua i poso te, també perquè la meva àvia que va morir fa dos anys, a ella li agradava molt el te, llavors li poso te. 
So you share the food that you will be eating, you share it with them. Y llavors, el menjar que tu estàs menjant el comparteixes amb elles. On special occasions like Christmas or any gatherings where um, most of your family members come, you create what we call a spirit plate. I llavors, per ocasions especials, com el Nadal o moments de, on la família es reuneix, nosaltres creem el que, li, el que anomenem un plat sagrat. Um, a spirit plate is... The... Ah, no, un, pla, un plat espiritual. Un plat espiritual, ok. Yeah. So, it's, you put all the food that is being offered in one plate as if you're giving it to another person. Llavors, tu poses tota la, tot el menjar que, que, que hi ha preparat per menjar aquell dia, el serveixes en un plat com si li anessis a donar a una altra persona. And you put it on the shrine where your pictures of your ancestors are. I el poses a l'altar on hi ha les fotos de, dels teus ancestres. Yeah. Mm. This is a way of respect and connecting as well. Um, and sharing, continuing to share with your ancestors. I això és una manera de, de respectar-los i de seguir compartint amb les teves ancestres. Ok, so I have here the night of the ancestors. Llavors aquí tenim la nit dels ancestres. The food they after. What do you do with the food they after? If the food is still fresh, you eat it. But um, sometimes the food does rot if you leave it for too long. If you're having a one-week ceremony, you're going to have to sacredly put it away as compost, but in a sacred way. Llavors, si el menjar eh, segueix estant bé, te'l menges, però, per exemple, si fas una cerimònia d'una setmana i, per tant, el menjar ja no està bé, el poses al compost d'una forma sagrada. So... You don't leave rotten things on your shrine, please. Rotten is podrides, no? Yes. Llavors no deixem coses podrides als altars, si us plau. Yeah. So it's like you need to revisit your shrine and clean it. Um, make sure it's a clean space. Llavors ens hem d'assegurar de que l'altar és un espai net i cuidat. And it doesn't have to be a big uh, space if you're in a small house. But if you're in a big house, it's always uh, recommended that you have a space just specifically dedicated to your ancestors, inside and outside, if you have a tree as well. Llavors, si tens una casa petita, l'altar dels ancestres pot ser un espai petit, però si tens una casa gran, doncs és recomanable que hi hagi un espai gran per elles, dins de casa i també fora, si tens un arbre. And um, to have this continuous communication with your ancestors. I tenia aquesta comunicació contínua amb els teus ancestres. And somebody may ask, then how do they answer? What if I had asked for something? How do I know my ancestors are listening? Llavors, algú podria preguntar, i com sé si m'escolten? Si pregunto algú, com sé si m'han escoltat? So I'll first say it's not so much important that you hear them in a way, but it's just the sense of understanding that you come from somewhere, which is the first fundamental thing, that you didn't just drop out of the air, that you have a history and you have a story behind you. Llavors, eh, no és tan important si notes o no la resposta, sinó que el més important és que tinguis aquesta aquesta manera d'entendre o de sentir o de comprendre que tu no has sortit així de l'aire i ja està, sinó que tu vens amb una història. And understanding the bad and the good that makes you, you know? I comprendre lo bo i lo dolent que t'ha fet, que t'ha configurat a tu. Um... One of the ways that ancestors communicate, especially if you're spiritually open or you come from my world, is through dreams. So dream work is very important. Llavors, una manera com els ancestres acostumen a, bueno, es comuniquen, eh, com a mínim des de la visió de la que jo vinc i si tu ets una persona oberta al món espiritual, són els somnis. 
El treball de somnis és molt important. So for us, dreams are not only in the psychological manner, but they are also in the direct communication with the, with the spirit world, with our ancestors. Llavors, per nosaltres, els somnis no són una qüestió només psicològica, sinó que són una, un pont comunicatiu amb el món espiritual i amb els ancestres. So for me, example, um, if I have a deep question, um, very clear that one of my ancestors will visit me in a dream, they will bring me a dream where they can let me know or reveal to me what's the next steps or what's to happen. Llavors, per exemple, si jo tinc una pregunta molt important, una forma com les meves ancestres poden revelar el que em volen dir és a través de visitar-me en un somni i dir-me el que em volen yeah. dir. So for us, dreams are important that from the young age, your grandmother will always ask you in the morning, what did you dream about? Because we feel that the if the ancestors have a message, they bring that message through dream time. Llavors, eh, quan ets petit o petita i et lleves, la teva àvia et preguntarà cada dia i què, què has somiat? Perquè per nosaltres és eh, un espai on els ancestres t'estan dient coses. But also this is the way of knowing where you are in your psychological mind. I també és una manera de saber on estàs en la teva ment psicològica. So I'm just going to stop here for now. Llavors, uh, m'aturaré aquí de moment. Yeah. We didn't have the 20 minutes break stop today. No so, hem tingut el, 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 la parada de 20 minuts. So if there's any questions. Llavors, si hi ha preguntes. So Maria is saying what? Mm. He's saying, uh, I'd like to ask you, I was born in a, in, a, in a territory and my ancestors are from another one. So what would you recommend? Mm, yeah, so you are a stranger in the land. Entonces eres una desconocida en, en, la, en, en, en ese lugar. Um, so like I said before, so imagine that as you are, you bring your, your, your ancestors. So it's a, it's a sense of doing that ritual in whichever way feels comfortable for you to somehow connect your ancestors, introduce your ancestors to the ancestors of that land. Entonces, eh, como hemos dicho que tú, que, ay, sí, que como hemos dicho que los teus ancestras van a tú, eh, al que podrías hacer es un ritual on tu presentes els teus ancestres familiars, diguem-ne, als ancestres del lloc. Fes el ritual de la forma que, que tu et sentis còmoda. There's different kinds of way of doing that kind of ritual. Hi ha diferents formes de fer aquest tipus de ritual. And also to know that there is also sometimes the no. Like you can be in a certain area and the ancestors of that land don't vibrate with your ancestors. It's just not your place. It's not where you are meant to be. Y entonces si pasa que eh, tú recibes un no, o sea que sencillamente la forma en la que tú vibras no es bienvenida para los ancestros de ese lugar, ese no es el lugar en el que deberías estar. So what's the next question? So the next question is, what do you, what happens when you feel very connected to a territory that it's not yours? Uh, is it is it it has not something to do with your ancestors yeah it could it could be um many things but it could be one thing is it could be that um your ancestors feel comfortable you and your ancestors because it's not like your ancestors take over your life okay but it's it's a collective um collaboration so you and your ancestors feel comfortable in that land and the ancestors of that land are okay with you being there. 
Llavors poden ser moltes coses. Una podria ser que tu i els teus ancestres, que ara no vol dir tampoc que siguin els teus ancestres els que manen a la teva vida, és una col·laboració col·lectiva, però podria ser que tu i els teus ancestres us sentiu molt a gust en aquest territori i que els ancestres d'aquest territori també se sentin molt a gust amb tu i els teus ancestres. And also it could probably mean that your ancestors have a history with that land. You probably have a history that you know or you don't know that connects you to that land. I també podria ser que els teus ancestres tinguin una història que tu coneixes o que no en aquesta terra. Ok, so there is another question from Alba. You want translation, Nanti? Yeah. Yeah. So, and, and when families migrate, like they were born in one place and they die in another one, what land they belong to? Both? Yeah, it's, it's, it's complex. You belong to the land. Uh, in Zulu, we have a saying, where your belly button, you know, where this, um, when you cut the umbilical cord, there's, um, there's something that stays on the baby and it falls after a few days. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's like a belly, part of the belly button. Sí. Llavors, en, en, en Zulu, o sigui, és, és, en Zulu hi ha una dita que està relacionada amb l'ombligo, que ara no sé si es diu així en català o no, però bé, el melic, això, i amb, amb el cordó umbilical, no? que, que el perds eh, uns dies després de néixer, però hi ha una part que es queda amb tu. So where your, we say where your umbilical cord falls, that is your land. Llavors, al lloc on cau el teu cordó umbilical, aquesta és la teva terra. But it might not necessarily be the land of your ancestors. Però pot no ser necessàriament la terra dels teus ancestres. So therefore you've now started um, another history, so you belong in these two different lands. I llavors és un moment en el que tu potser estàs començant una nova història i per tant és un moment que tu pertanys a les dues terres. Ok, so somebody asked about reincarnation. Yes, we, we also believe in reincarnation in, in many different levels. Llavors sí, nosaltres hi ha una pregunta sobre la reencarnació i sí, a l'Ubuntu sí que creiem en la reencarnació a diferents nivells. And this is why for us it's very important to do things like, um, in Europe you call it a uh, family constellation. I per això és tan important per nosaltres fer coses com el que aquí a Europa es diu constel·lació familiar. Because almost every dis discomfort or disease or whether the disease is physical or it's something that is bothering you in your everyday life is connected to your ancestors. Perquè per nosaltres, eh, qualsevol malaltia o malestar, eh, ja sigui físic o d'una altra mena, està connectat amb els teus ancestres. For us, it's always a sense of, okay, you are having problems in, fi in finances, you are having problems in uh, getting a job. We need to go back and look at what's happening, where in your ancestors' system that this didn't go well and how can we fix it. Llavors, per exemple, si tu estàs tenint problemes econòmics o dificultat per trobar una feina, nosaltres diríem, val, anem a mirar en la, teva, en la història dels teus ancestres quan hi ha hagut problemes amb això també i anem a trobar la manera de sanar-ho. So we are constantly having, as I said, this healing communication between those who are still alive and those who have passed on. So the relationship continues in trying to heal and fix and support Llavors, nosaltres, per nosaltres, com ja he dit, és, és, la relació segueix, no? I és aquesta, aquesta relació mútua d'anar sanant, d'anar-nos donant suport, anar comprenent i anar arreglant les coses de la família. Ok, can we breathe a moment? We don't have much time anymore. Yeah, Do you have questions, Laura? Because I know you can't say that. Because there is something in Catalan in the chat, so maybe you, you, you that says it happened something spectacular to me. I have Sumerian ancestors, my cooperative and my brand 
is called Ninkasi. Mm -hmm. And in the alt in my altar, uh, there was another Ninkasi that was from from another brand that that is in Oregon, United States. Mm -hmm. So I don't know how to interpret that. Mm. I don't know. I just it just seems like you have this connect deep connection with. For me, it sounds like you have this connection with this tribe. Um, so sometimes yo, it has a way of showing itself. Yeah, was yo diría que que el que que això demostra és que tu tens aquesta connexió amb aquesta amb aquesta tribu i i i això és una forma com aquesta connexió s'està fent visible. And sometimes, like I said before, there's this adopted ancestors. Maybe your ancestors had met somewhere before and created very strong relations. I també poden ser, poden ser ancestres adoptius. Potser els teus ancestres es van conèixer en algun moment i van fer una, una forta relació. You know, like me, I live in Europe and I don't have a family, direct family system in Europe, but I have people that I'm feeling very connected to. So I know that in the future, if my child chooses to have children, they will have this um, strong connection to foreign ancestors. Llavors, jo, per exemple, que, que sóc africana però visc aquí a Europa, no tinc aquí relacions familiars, però sí que tinc relacions molt fortes amb algunes persones. Llavors, jo sé que si el meu fill algun dia té fills, eh, tindrà relació amb ancestres foranis, amb ancestres d'altres llocs. So, I mean, even if he is partly European, but some ancestors do make agree, did make agreements So this bounds them together. The agreements bound the ancestors together. Yeah, was eh, Almo Fi ya es eh, es europeo, pero eh, yo sé que hay ancestras que han fet pactes, no? Y eso es el que ha unit als als ancestres, el que ha creat el el vincle. Yeah, actually saying that just made me feel happy in my chest. <laughs> Creating yeah. relations. Ajá. Llavors, només dir això, noto que, que sento alegria a la, en el meu pit, parlar d'aquestes relacions. Ok, so we can... Uh, I was in Russia recently, I told this story last time also. Eh, llavors, jo vaig, ja vaig explicar aquesta història de que jo vaig estar a Rússia fa poc. And Uh, part of the whole process that we had one night called the night of the ancestors. I llavors vam fer un, un procés i una de, nit va ser la nit de, dels ancestres. And um, the way they do it, it's very similar to the African way. I la manera com ells ho fan és molt similar a la manera africana. Of course, it's more karma. You know, there, was no, there was no outer states dancing and drumming and loud and <laughs> ah, es més calmada no hi havia uh, els estats alterats els tambors eh, el soroll el, el ball but i found it when when i experienced it i thought ah oh, this could be also a one way um, for the european minds to slowly adapt and accept the connection to the ancestors però vaig pensar que a la seva manera podia ser bona per la mentalitat eh, occidental europea d'acceptar i reconèixer un altre cop la relació amb els ancestres. So they, we made food offering, which was fish and pancakes. Llavors vam, vam oferir menjar, ofrant de menjar, eh, peix, eh, pastissos. And we sat in a dark room i vam seure en una habitació fosca with candles amb espelmes and everybody one by one we chose an ancestor that we we told their story i cadascú de nosaltres va escollir un ancestre i va explicar la seva història and of course as you can imagine we couldn't put time on it this went on and on until the last person was finished. So ceremony has no time. 
I com podeu imaginar, no vam posar temps en aquesta cerimònia. La cerimònia va durar fins que l'última persona va explicar la seva història. Vam estar allà explicant i explicant història. So I recommend this, that when you have time to be with your family or you are having Christmas, just choose um, a few hours where you sit and you speak about the different members of your ancestors and tell yeah. their story. Llavors jo us recomano, doncs, que per exemple, pel Nadal eh, trieu unes quantes hores i seieu i, i compartiu històries dels vostres ancestres. So maybe we can, we still have some time, so if maybe we have one or two people. Llavors, encara tenim temps, llavors potser hi ha una o dues persones. There is already one more question in the chat. Okay, we take that last question and we go into a little bit of ceremony just to have that space. So. Okay, llavors fem aquesta última pregunta i llavors anem a fer una mica de cerimònia corteta. So the question is, how, how do you interpret this moving of people, that people that is born in one place, then work in another, die in another, either if it's because of wars or whatever, you think it's a chaos? Use, how you see it? If it's a traumatic experience, it's chaos. Si és una experiència traumàtica, llavors és caos. Um, for us, it, it will show up somehow in the future generations. It will cause some kind of energy that needs to be cleaned and needs to be balanced in the future generations. Llavors, uh, des de la nostra manera de veure-ho, això segur que apareixeran les generacions futures perquè és algú que necessitarà sanar-se i reequilibrar-se. So maybe, for example, if you go see a shaman, you are, you are ill or something and the shaman says no, but there's an ancestor in your family system that died during war in foreign lands and they never came home to be buried. So this person's spirit needs a ceremony so that they can find peace. Llavors, per exemple, tu pots anar a veure una xamana, eh, un xaman, i perquè estàs malalta, i que et digui hi ha un ancestre de la teva família que va morir en una guerra en un país estranger i que no va, no va tornar a la seva terra per ser enterrat i llavors farà, farà falta fer-li una cerimònia. So we call it a spiritual disaster. Llavors, això li diem nosaltres desastre espiritual. That needs a lot of healing and a lot of... Uh really reconciliation and deep work that needs to be done in a community and also within the family systems. Llavors, això és una cosa que necessita un treball molt profund dins la comunitat o dins el sistema familiar. Yeah. Mm. Like me, I'm, I'm a traveler. So... Mm something will have to be done in the future by my by the future ancestors to balance the fact that I left my land and I'm not there anymore. Llavors, jo, per exemple, que soc una viatgera, segur que en el futur alguna cosa hauran de fer amb mi, que vaig deixar la meva terra i que ja no estic allà. Yeah. So hopefully when I die, wherever I am, I am in peace, that I do not bother the future ancestors looking for a place to rest. What did you say, Nanti? Excuse me. That I don't bother the future ancestors looking for a place to rest. Mm, llavors espero que quan jo mori no molesti els ancestres futurs eh, buscant un lloc per morir. So, who wants to, who feels connected to an ancestor and would like to tell us a story about that ancestor? Llavors, qui se sent connectada, connectat ara amb un ancestre i vol explicar-nos la seva història ara? Ok. So we have shy ancestors, so... Llavors tenim ancestres tímids o tímides? So I'll go. Però jo explicaré algo. So I... So you listen to me how I speak of myself. Llavors vosaltres escolteu com jo parlo de mi mateixa. Because this is important. 
Perquè això és important. So, I will say my name is Nontogoso. Llavors, jo diria que el meu nom és Nontogoso. I am the daughter of Franz and Ella. Jo soc la filla del Franz i la Ella. I am born from the Manana family. Jo vaig néixer de la família Manana. Manana is the surname. Manana és el cognom. I am raised in the Sedibe family. Jo vaig ser... vaig créixer, vaig ser criada en la família Sedibe. So this way I'm letting you know about my mother's ancestors and my father's ancestors. Llavors, d'aquesta manera estic aprenent dels ancestres de la meva mare i del meu pare. I'm letting you know my clan. I llavors així coneixeu el meu clan. Who I am. Qui soc. Who I bring with me. Qui porto jo amb mi. So I have a song of my ancestors. Jo soc la suma dels meus ancestres. So it's like a praise of my ancestors. I això és com una pregària dels meus ancestres. It's like a poem. Com un poema. It gives me energy. Em dona energia. So I... I'm going to say it fast, you don't have to translate it because you're not going to be able to translate it. Llavors ho vaig a dir ràpid, tu no ho has de traduir perquè no seràs capaç de traduir-ho. So I'm going to start by saying, I am Togoso, un zugulu aga sedive, o zo aga manana. Au manana, om kusi, om buyisa, aba kibelin taba, pasleta nganel, Aba ashe, ama kusa ma ashe, ama kusa chabli, ama kusa ngleteli intantla ngbulezi ngelelazam. So in this way, I am praising my ancestors and I'm bringing them to the space. Llavors, d'aquesta manera, jo estic pregant els meus ancestres i els estic portant a l'espai. And then I choose one ancestor, I choose to speak about my grandmother. I llavors explico... Escullo un ancestre i parlo d'ella, jo escullo la meva àvia. And a very short story that my grandmother was... My grandmother raised me. Llavors, per fer una història curta, la meva àvia em va criar... With my grandfather. Amb el meu avi. Because my parents were too young. Perquè els meus pares eren massa joves. My mom had to go back to school. La meva mare havia d'anar al col·le. And my grandmother's name was Getrut Malifu Sulepe. I el nom de la meva mare era Getrut Malifu Febe. I don't know if I say it right. And me and her, we had such a deep spiritual relationship. I jo i ella teníem una relació espiritual molt profunda. And we had telepathic communication. I teníem comunicació telepàtica. And we still have it today. I encara la tenim. And my grandmother taught me everything I know. I la meva mare, la meva àvia em va ensenyar tot el que jo sé. She was a warrior woman. Ella era una dona guerrera. She had a difficult life, you know, she lived through the oppression of apartheid in South Africa. Ella va tenir una vida difícil, va viure l'opressió de l'apartheid a l'Àfrica. But she survived. Però va sobreviure. She was a super intelligent woman who was allowed to go to school. That couldn't go to school, you said? Yeah. Ella era una dona molt intel·ligent a la que no se li va permetre anar a l'escola. But by the time she died, she could speak English, she could read and write because she taught herself to do these things. Però en el moment en què ella va morir, ella podia parlar anglès, podia llegir, podia escriure, perquè ella s'havia ensenyat a ella mateixa a fer-ho. And every time I feel in deep shit, it's like my, I call her first. Llavors, cada vegada que jo, sent, jo em sento atrapada en una merda profunda, jo la crido. I just close my eyes and I say, go, go, come on. Llavors, jo tanco els ulls i dic, go, go, en sèrio? And she just really, I know she's there. I know she's there. There is no doubt in my mind that she is there. Ah, i jo li dic, vine, i ella ve. I jo no tinc cap dubte que ella està allà. And my grandfather used to spoil me and I just call on him when I need things. 
I el meu spoil, that used to say you things in advance, in advance. Yeah, like spoil is like when you want something as a child and you just get it. Mm. Llavors el meu, el meu avi era qui em, qui em donava els capritxos, no? Llavors quan jo vull algú, jo el crido i, i ell m'ho dona. So this love doesn't end just because they've passed on. I know they are always with me. Llavors aquest amor no ha acabat només perquè ells hagin mort. Jo sé que, que ells estan amb mi. And knowing their stories and telling their stories is the way of keeping them alive and appreciating them and understanding what my ancestors had to go through for me to be sitting here with you in this moment. I aleshores, eh, dir les seves històries i recordar les seves històries eh, i entendre que, que perquè jo estigui aquí com aquesta dona asseguda davant vostra, doncs també és gràcies a ells. So you need to learn to tell stories of your ancestors to your children, to your friends and create those sacred spaces for your ancestors. Llavors heu de trobar la manera d'explicar de les històries dels vostres ancestres, de les vostres amigues, de les vostres filles, fills, i crear aquests espais sagrats per ells i per elles. So we are out of time. Llavors estem fora de temps. It's always hard for me to do this online because of time. És molt difícil per mi fer això online per el tema del temps. So... Marco Sigogo. So I, yeah, just when you honor your ancestors, you honor yourself. And when you honor yourself, you honor your ancestors. Llavors, quan tu honres els teus ancestres, t'honres a tu. I quan t'honres a tu, honres els teus ancestres. And when, when healing needs to be done, it's up to you to take the responsibility to heal your ancestors. Llavors, quan la sanació, quan fa falta sanació, eh, està a les teves mans eh, si també fas la sanació pels teus ancestres, si prens aquesta responsabilitat o no. And for me, doing this work is part of healing my ancestors between Europe and Africa, what happened between us. I, i per mi, part de fer aquesta feina és sanar la relació entre Europa i Àfrica, el que va passar entre els nostres ancestres. Wow. Thank you for, for bringing your ancestors. Llavors, gràcies per portar els, teus, els vostres ancestres. So we can finally have a conversation. I així podem tenir una conversa. And without wanting anything from each other. Sense voler res de, de ningú. And just really connect to each other. I connectar entre nosaltres. So, so if you can unmute... Llavors, si us podeu treure el... si us podeu desilenciar. And I don't know, Sara, is there something you want to say before we do the last part? No. Llavors, Sara, si tu vols dir alguna cosa abans que fem l'última part. Mm. No, thank you. So you say your name and your ancestors' names and everybody else and you say welcome to the village. Llavors podeu dir el vostre nom, el nom dels vostres ancestres i la resta us diem benvingudes al poble. Okay. Welcome to the village. Welcome to the village. Jorge, Amina, un papà. Welcome to the village. Teresa, Luis. Cecilia. Alba de la família Torres i de la família Robinat de Tàrrega. Welcome to the village. Benvingudes. Benvingudes. Benvinguda al poble. 
Membinguda. 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 Ah, de los Crespo, Ubero, Roldán, Cruz, Pérez. Lo dejo. Bienvenido al pueblo. Bienvenido al pueblo. Bienvenido al pueblo. Gracias. Calderón. It's okay, we can just go. You don't have to have no. a, an order. Nadia, Pala, Polo. Bienvenido al pueblo. Welcome to the village. Laura de la familia Bonet Yorks. Welcome to the village. Welcome to the village. Welcome to the village, Susana. Welcome to the village. Welcome to the village. Welcome to the village. Welcome to the Laura Lopez, welcome to the village. Thank you. Rosa Cos, welcome to the village. Okay. And there's Ana del Pratifons. I can't say this properly. Welcome to the village. Mm. Patricia yes, Carmona, welcome to the village. Thank you. Steph, welcome to the village. Naomi Pertuma, welcome to the village. Vicky, welcome to the village. <laughs> welcome to the village. Oh, welcome to the village. There's a child. Welcome to the village. <laughs> yes. Bien, qua, bien. Bien, qua, bien. Oh. Mama, I'm crying. Oh. <laughs> Well, thank you, everyone. Oh, there's a future ancestor. So, thank you so much for being here. Muchas gracias por estar aquí. And uh, thank you very much. Yeah. Gracias. Thank you, Nancy. Gracias. Gracias, Nancy. Gracias. 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 Yeah. Okay. <laughs> People don't want to go. <laughs> I think this is when people feel like they, they want to go deeper into discussions. La gente no va a marchar, sembla que volem que volem profundir en la conversa. La semana que viene más. Yes, I'm back. I feel like we're going to meet again on the Friday. Yeah. We're going to meet again on the Friday. At 5 o'clock. Yeah. On the Wednesday. At 5 also. Okay. Thank you very much to everyone. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Gracias. Gracias. Gracias.